Welcome to this episode of the Hot Mic Podcast. I'm Logan Mosley. Um, unfortunately, no Ian once again for this one. Um, got to talk to Ryan Larson, uh, part of the team here at Millard West. Talked about the entire season pretty much. You know, he dropped a historic performance twice. Once against Burke and one against Columbus, I want to say. Not entirely sure on that one. We talk about that. He was right there for the improbable play by Evan Myrsic. Um, which actually ended up being on Sports Center top ten, ranked at number seven. Um, so we'll just talk to you about that. Talk about what he has done to from uh, just like fifth grade when he started playing to now. It's very interesting. I hope you guys enjoy. All right. So first of all, great performance last night. You know, you put up seventeen points and it was a very close game. And then you were right there when Evan Myersick made a, a acrobatic layup. What were your thoughts from the moment when that ball went through the net? Uh, honestly, <laughs> I I saw him trip and I was my heart sank. But then I saw him get the ball up and I was like, wait, there's a chance. I saw it go in and I was just that was like probably the happiest I've ever been. I just went over and hugged him. Yeah, well, the entire team kind of pushed around and you were right there when that happened. So it was probably. A special moment, one that you'll never forget. Yeah, I definitely won't forget that one. So, you put up 17, like I said, and it was a very close game and where you were technically underdogs because of seeding. Do you feel like you were underdogs that entire time during that game? Uh, n- Honestly, n- no. We Once we saw our seeding, we thought this was a great opportunity rather than getting, like, eighth seed, getting, like, a Bell West or Miller North. But we saw this as a great opportunity to just make a statement for our team in Millard West at the state tournament. Yeah, this is one of the, I, like, 20-plus years yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I think it's, like, since, 21 years. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, we weren't even alive when that first yeah. time <laughs> happened. So, yeah. making history. Um, so, once we, you, like I said, you put up 17, and you've put up these performances throughout the season. How do you think you've progressed from week one, where you were kind of just passing the ball out, to hitting eight threes in a game, and then putting up 20-plus point performances? Uh, I've kind of just, I throughout the season, I've seen myself progress, grown into the player I wanted to be, and then obviously, like, your goal is to be playing the best basketball at the end of the season, and right now I think I'm doing that really well. Yeah, you want to get hot like, at near the end of the season. It's one of the things that everyone ends up talking about. Um, so going back to week one, you and Dustin Hatch seem to have a good connection, you know, finding the open lanes and something like that. I was there at that first opening game with Edison Geiler on the call. Um, do you do you feel like you have a good connection with your teammates? Oh, yeah. Some of, the, some of these guys I've been playing with since, I think, around sixth grade. So I feel like we all just have a really good connection. We know each other. We know how we play. So that really helps. Um, so, like I said, you're... Once you get going from three, you're near unstoppable. Have you always been a three-point shooter? Uh, honestly, no. I just, usually I was a drive type of guy, but then eighth grade, finally, I started shooting, and then I kind of fell in love with that, and so I just worked on that my entire life. Have Did you start playing basketball here your freshman year? Uh, like as high school, yeah. yes, but I started way back in, like, fifth grade. So from fifth grade to you to you now, how do you think you've progressed in all aspects of the game? Oh, uh, I've definitely seen myself grow. I've I've definitely seen myself with. I've had better. My IQ has gotten a lot better. Obviously, I've been working on all the skills. Obviously, shooting. That's that was probably my main priority. That's probably what got me on the freshman team because as a freshman I was like five six, really like maybe like a hundred pounds, <laughs> but I could really shoot it, and I guess that's what the coaches saw. But then as I progressed, I started getting a little stronger, obviously taller, and then just kept my shooting. So, like I previously mentioned, you're one of the more underrated players in Class A. Do you choose that to motivate yourself in game when it's close? Oh yeah, definitely. I think I use that to my advantage because a lot of people don't know really who I am. If not, they should. But I use that to my advantage, and then I just like to, yeah, I use that as motivation. So uh, you and Evan Myersick are the team's leading scorers with about 
0.8 points per game separating you guys on how many points a game, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. Do you ha, Does it ever become, like, a competition to see who can get more points at all in a game if it's a blowout? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I'd say, honestly, scoring is probably our least worry. It's just about winning as a team and getting to stay, obviously. Yeah. So let's look forward to, to Friday night's matchup against Mode North. You lost fif- by 15 last time, which a heck of a performance. Many people had you out right away. I was fortunate to be at that game. It got up within five at one point. Yeah. But one thing I remember Coach Morrison saying was that they outscored you guys in transition points and total points. Is that the new mindset, is to play up to their pace of the game? Oh, I think I think we're going to try and slow it down just to try and stop them because they like to play a really fast-paced game. But if we can get them out of their rhythm, try and slow the game down to where we want our tempo, I think we can have a good chance to keep it close and then it comes down to the wire. Yeah, you put it within five at one point. You had a 20-plus point performance on that game as well, and that kind of puts you on the metaphorical map, so to say, because yeah. of how well-known North North is. Um, I want to f- focus on this part with Cole Kirshner. He's one of the younger players oh, on yeah. the varsity team. Do you have a good connection with him at all? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> he's probably – he's definitely one of my favorite sophomores. We probably built our connection over the summer. I didn't really know him, but then we just started kind of hanging out at practice, and then we just became really close. Do you – seeing how you're a senior and this team is full of, of seniors, it's one of the older plat- – older teams if you want to say do you feel like you've taken on a role of trying to mentor players like Avery Jones even though he doesn't play the exact position and Cole Christian yeah I feel like all the younger guys look up to us and what we're doing and then hopefully like hopefully some of that rubs off to them for the next years to come you know kind of just being role models for them and then setting the expectation for the team yeah obviously you want to like try and get to that senior development role. Yeah. Um, one more question here, and this is looking forward to the future. I'm not entirely sure if you've gotten any offers at all. Has, has that something that's been popped up at all? Uh, a bunch of small schools around the area have been contacting me this past, I don't know, a couple months, but I'm really still wide open, don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Do you have any plans of trying to play basketball at D2, D3 level? If the Yeah, higher? if the right school that fits me and I yeah if the right school fits me probably yeah all right well thank you for your time no thank you